Hey guys, we're here with another video, Zeke Nanji, I think is how you say it, or Nanji. So let's talk about who is Zeke Nanji and where will he go in this year's draft. Arizona forward Zeke Nanji will reportedly declare for the 2020 NBA draft after a successful freshman season, according to John Rothstein of CBS Sports. The Minnesota native burst onto the scene this past season with an average of 16.1 points, 8.6 rebounds per game, and earning the Pac-12 Newcomer of the Year award and first-team all-conference nods. Nanji is the most explosive big in this year's 2020 NBA draft class. He's really, really athletic, and his second jump is something to behold. His production speaks for itself. At 6'11", 240 pounds he made a quick college transition and became the leading scorer even if some of it has to do with Arizona's pace and play of highly recruited teammates such as Nico Mannion and Josh Green. He was U of A's most efficient player on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. His size and ability to run the floor will help smooth his NBA jump allowing him to rack up points and rebounds immediately. Nenji still has areas to improve though including outside shooting after he finished just 5 of 17 from three-point range as a freshman. That said, I'm down on Nenji compared to the rest of the field because I think he's somewhat limited defensively. He has a tendency for getting lost guarding ball screens and he could also work on his rim protection. Can those things be coached up enough to make him worth picks over the likes of Daniel Oturo, Isaiah Stewart, or Jalen Smith? But at just 19 years old, the big man has plenty of time to develop. So with that being said, I think he's going to be a 20s or 30s pick or, you know, early second round pick in this year's NBA draft. So I do think he's going to be a first round pick near the bottom of the first round or the top of the second round at the bottom, you know, the latest will be pick because of his ability and, you know, maybe he could become like a Clint Capella type player. We don't know. He seems like he has the athleticism and the ability to stretch the floor and hopefully he can because like he could become a really good player for a team that picks him at the end of the draft. Obviously, I'd love to see the Celtics pick him or the Pacers. That'd be really cool to see and see a type of player like him on a team like that. I do think he could thrive there. Let me hear your opinions on him down below in the comments section. While you're going down there, hit the like button, subscribe for more NBA content like this on the day. I'm sorry that I did this video rush. NFL draft about to start. So I got to get these out. So I hope you guys did really enjoy this. As always, guys, I hope you guys have a great day because I know I will. Till next time, guys. Peace out.